Do you notice something wrong in the world today? Can you feel it? Are you ready for it? More importantly, do you know Christ? Sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you in the mighty and precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we gather to discuss a topic of utmost importance for our spiritual well-being, the presence of false prophets in our midst, and the deceptions they propagate. Our key scriptures are Matthew 7.15 and Mark 13.22, which provide clear warnings from our Lord about the dangers posed by false prophets and false Christs. These scriptures remind us to be vigilant and discerning especially in an age where information and misinformation can spread rapidly through technology and social media. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your wisdom and guidance. Open our hearts to the truths of your word and help us to discern the false prophets and deceptive teachings that seek to lead us astray. May your Holy Spirit move within us, illuminating our minds and strengthening our spirits. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In Matthew 7:15, Jesus warns us, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. This verse highlights the deceptive nature of false prophets. They appear harmless and genuine on the outside, but their true intentions are harmful and destructive. Jesus uses the metaphor of ravening wolves to describe their predatory nature, indicating that they seek to devour the unsuspecting and the vulnerable. Similarly, in Mark 13, 22, Jesus provides further warning. For false Christs and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. This verse underscores the power and influence that false prophets can wield. They can perform signs and wonders, which can easily deceive even the most devout believers if they are not vigilant. To understand the truth of these warnings, we must first delve into the characteristics and tactics of false prophets. False prophets are individuals who claim to speak for God, but are actually motivated by self-interest, deceit, and often a connection to the occult. They may present themselves as spiritual leaders, motivational speakers, or even social media influencers. Their messages often blend truth with falsehood, making it difficult to discern their true nature. One contemporary figure who embodies many of these characteristics is the YouTuber Paul Check. Known for his charismatic personality and thought-provoking content, Czech has amassed a large following. However, beneath the surface of his engaging persona lies a connection to New Age beliefs, feminism, and an agenda that aligns with the deception of Lucifer. It is crucial for us to examine these influences and understand the dangers they pose. Paul Czech often speaks on topics related to health, fitness, spirituality, and personal development. While these subjects can seem positive and beneficial, 
it is essential to scrutinize the underlying messages and influences. Czech's teachings frequently incorporate elements of New Age philosophy, which is fundamentally incompatible with the teachings of Christ and the Bible. New Age philosophy often emphasizes self-empowerment, personal enlightenment, and a spiritual awakening that is independent of the God of the Bible. It blends elements of Eastern mysticism, paganism, and occult practices. These ideologies are in direct opposition to the core tenets of Christianity, which emphasize reliance on God, submission to his will, and the exclusivity of salvation through Jesus Christ. In addition to New Age beliefs, Paul Cech's teachings are also intertwined with aspects of modern feminism. While advocating for equality and justice is a noble cause, the form of feminism promoted by Paul Cech often veers into areas that contradict biblical principles. This brand of feminism can lead to the elevation of self and the rejection of God's design for gender roles and relationships. It is essential to recognize that the blend of New Age philosophy and modern feminism often aligns with what the Bible describes as the spirit of the age. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2, Paul speaks of the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. This spirit seeks to deceive and lead people away from the truth of the gospel, and it often manifests in ideologies that promote self-worship and rebellion against God's order. One of the primary tactics of false prophets like Czech is to present a message that resonates with the desires and curiosities of their audience. They use appealing language, popular culture references, and a charismatic presentation to draw people in. In 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 15, Paul warns us of such individuals. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed, as the ministers of righteousness Hauser, whose end shall be according to their works. Paul Cech's connection to New Age beliefs and modern feminism is particularly concerning because it leads his followers away from the truth of Christ and towards spiritual deception. His teachings often encourage self-reliance, personal enlightenment, and a rejection of traditional Christian faith. While these ideas may seem empowering, they ultimately undermine the foundational truths of the Christian faith. Jesus Christ calls us to rely on him and his word for guidance and salvation. In John 14, 6, Jesus declares, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Any teaching that directs us away from Jesus as the sole source of truth and salvation is a false teaching. Moreover, false prophets like Czech often use their platform to promote a form of spirituality that is inclusive of all beliefs and practices. The syncretism dilutes the exclusivity of the gospel and creates confusion among believers. In Galatians 1.6.9, Paul expresses his astonishment at how quickly the Galatians were turning to a different gospel. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Paul's stern warning emphasizes the importance of preserving the purity of the gospel. Mixing it with other beliefs and practices is a grave error that leads to spiritual peril. As believers, it is our responsibility to discern and reject false prophets. Here are some practical steps we can take to protect ourselves and others from their influence. Firstly, we must immerse ourselves in the Word of God. The Bible is our ultimate authority 
and guide. By studying and meditating on scripture, we equip ourselves with the knowledge and wisdom needed to identify false teachings. Psalm 119.1105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The light of God's word exposes the darkness of deception. Secondly, we should seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit. In John 16.13, Jesus promises, Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. The Holy Spirit helps us to discern truth from falsehood and gives us the strength to stand firm in our faith. Thirdly, we must be vigilant in prayer. Prayer keeps us connected to God and opens our hearts to his guidance. In Philippians 4, 6, 7, Paul encourages us, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. A prayerful life guards our hearts and minds against deception. Fourthly, we should be discerning about the sources of information and teaching we engage with. This includes social media, books, podcasts, and other media. In 1 John 4, 1, we are instructed, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Testing the spirits means evaluating the teachings and influences we encounter against the truth of God's word. Fifthly, we must hold one another accountable. Engaging in Christian community provides us with support and encouragement. In Hebrews 10, 24, 25, we read, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Fellowship with other believers strengthens our faith and helps us stay grounded in truth. Lastly, we should speak out against false teachings and warn others. In Ephesians 5, 11, Fruits, My work came for our or child was a free, while the poor wife will stand, for a for and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. It is our duty to expose false prophets and protect our brothers and sisters in Christ from their influence. In conclusion, the warnings of Jesus in Matthew 7:15 and Mark 13:22 are as relevant today as they were when he spoke them. False prophets are among us, using platforms like YouTube and social media to spread their deceptive teachings. Figures like Paul Check may appear harmless and even enlightening, but their connections to New Age beliefs, modern feminism, and Lucifer's agenda reveal their true nature. As believers, we must be vigilant, discerning, and steadfast in our faith. By immersing ourselves in God's Word, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and supporting one another in Christian community, we can stand firm against the schemes of the enemy and uphold the truth of the Gospel. Let us close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the truths you have revealed to us today. Help us to be wise and vigilant in our walk with you, so that we may guard our hearts and minds against the deception of false prophets. Strengthen our faith and empower us to stand firm in your word. May your Holy Spirit guide us and transform us, that we may be faithful to your truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As we navigate the treacherous waters of spiritual deception, it is vital to not only understand the dangers of false prophets, but also to awaken the righteous version of ourselves. This awakening is a spiritual journey that begins with accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and continues with daily spiritual disciplines that deepen our relationship with Him. Let's take a moment to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask for your guidance and wisdom as we embark on this journey of spiritual awakening. May your Holy Spirit illuminate our path and empower us to live a life of righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
The Bible is replete with teachings and principles that guide us towards righteousness. One such principle is found in Psalm 1, 1 to 2. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. This scripture emphasizes the importance of delighting in God's word and meditating on it continuously. By doing so, we build a spiritual foundation that helps us discern truth from falsehood and resist the allure of false prophets. Another key principle is the cultivation of spiritual virtues. Galatians 5, 23 tells us, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. These virtues, which are the fruit of the Holy Spirit's work in our lives, are indicators of spiritual maturity and righteousness. As we develop these virtues, we become more Christ-like and less susceptible to spiritual deception. The awakening of righteousness also involves a commitment to prayer. In Ephesians 6:18. Paul instructs us to pray always with all prayer and supplication the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Prayer is a powerful weapon against the schemes of the enemy, including the deceptions of false prophets. Through prayer we stay connected to God and receive the strength and wisdom to stand firm in our faith. Finally. The awakening of righteousness requires us to put our faith into action. James 2.17 reminds us that faith without works is dead. This means that our faith is not merely a matter of belief, but also involves a commitment to living out God's commands and principles. By doing so, we demonstrate the authenticity of our faith and become powerful witnesses for Christ. In conclusion, the awakening of righteousness is a lifelong journey that requires dedication, persistence, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. As we awaken the righteous version of ourselves, we become better equipped to, to discern and resist the influence of false prophets. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of righteousness through Jesus Christ. Help us to awaken the righteous version of ourselves and to live in a manner that glorifies your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.